My father had his share of life. Now, as he faces those last few moments, I want them to have meaning. How would you spend the last few moments? The goal at Dover Park Hospice is to improve the quality of life that remains. They say that we cannot add days to their life, but we can add life to their days. In 1992, the idea of Singapore's first hospice was finally put into place. Over the years, the hospice has provided an invaluable service to our community. For it's our ideal not only to take care of the young and healthy, but also those facing death. Hospice is a mini hospital, so there's always that element of medical care where we have doctors and nurses and specialists looking after our patients. But hospice is more than a mini hospital. Hospice cares for the social, that means the poverty level of the patient, the emotional level, the spiritual level if they need it. So we look after those other aspects and we also provide support and assistance for their families. You know, in this particular difficult time. I conceived this idea of starting a completely independent secular hospice which would admit uh, people from all forms of all religions and all faiths, all colours and it didn't matter or what uh, your beliefs were. Dover Park Hospice is the first purpose-built facility of its kind in Singapore. Designed by a team of volunteers led by Ernesto Bedmar, they incorporated styling cues and features from around the region. A bright and open environment was created to give people a sense of space to reconcile their emotions. Over 90% of the patients at the hospice suffer from terminal cancer. These few moments need special care special palliative medicine. Ten years ago, there was no such service in Singapore. Palliative medicine is a special branch of medicine which helps to uh, alleviate the symptoms and the suffering of uh, patients who have been diagnosed as uh, ad advanced incurable illnesses is a holistic form of medicine and it involves uh, relief of symptoms both physical such as uh, pain and vomiting and such like as well as uh, the uh, help whether they require it for their spiritual needs or psychological needs and it also is very important because it involves the whole family and the caregivers as well. Today, the hospice is Singapore's training centre for palliative medicine. It's a valuable resource for professionals and volunteers. Through the efforts of a special group of people, the hospice came to be. Here, the operations are run by a small but committed team of some 50 doctors, nurses and admin staff supplemented by a tireless team of more than 300 dedicated volunteers. The hospice was started by volunteers and it continues to rely on their invaluable contribution from the accounting to the management of the hospice to day trips and special outings.
Uh, this is the outing group and we come once a week on a Thursday morning. We take the patients to lots of different places all over Singapore. And the great joy is that many of the patients have never been to these places before, so it's a new experience for them. Um, it's, it's quite terrible if you're dying of a, of a condition, a disease, and you find that in your last few months, years, you can't eat and it gets extremely frustrating. So we try to give them as much satisfaction of food as they can. Um, I find I'm getting out more from this than I'm putting in. I find I'm coming back not because they need me, because I need them. Oh, uh, my music helps them to relax and also many of them uh, miss the kind of music that they used to hear. So I, I find that I'm playing a lot of uh, very old uh, Mandarin songs sometimes or the evergreens like smoke gets in your eyes or you know to and then it brings back memories for them so i actually provide massage uh, service for them and then along the way we start to have conversation and start to get to know each other better i think because of this uh, physical contact it, it sort of builds a bond between us and very often they will look forward to um, me coming, also my gang of friends. This high level of dedication and hard work has helped our team win the inaugural award for Best Volunteer Management System in 2002. The hospice attends to more than the provision of physical comfort to patients. It sees to their emotional needs and helps them come to grip with their lives. My sister Wisha. Um when I went to visit my sister, I always kept on saying, I want to see my daughter wedding. Then I just say, uh, your daughter wedding actually next year, not this year. But I want to see now. So uh, we, uh, we ask advice from the doctor. So when the doctor say, mm, you're willing to do in a hospice, then I say, yes, okay lah. So they give us in an auditorium room. My sister happy lah on that day. But after the wedding for two weeks, then my sister passed away. When my sister said, um, if, if I die, um, I hope you be a volunteer here. Happy that. Presently, the government funds about 50% of operating costs. The rest is made up of donations and outside sources and fundraising activities to meet the day-to-day -day running costs. A decade ago, the mere mention of a hospice created opposition. Today, there's acceptance and understanding that it's not about the dying, it's about living. The spirit must go forth and continue to gain the support of the community as we face the years ahead.